Once more, October draws near. And with that, once more I set my sights on my favorite October resort town. Yeah, after the events of last year, I decided to go with my old travel agent once again. After all, she's done a bloody sight better than that last guy. Oh hi, Roy. You shut up! Anyway, my travels this year, well, they hit a bit of a snag. My car's not in the best of condition right now. Thus, I had to hitch a ride into town. Hey, thanks guys. I really appreciate it. It's quite a bit of a distance getting here, isn't it? Wait. What you doing? No, don't touch that. I wasn't done with that yet. Oh, bugger. Now I have to go back before things got this out of hand. Hello, Roar and Mithril here once again, and it's that time of year. Time once more to visit our favorite October vacation destination. This year, we'll be playing Silent Hill Origins. This one was a prequel game, originally made for the PSP, the portable PlayStation system. It was later ported to the PS2, and that's the version I'm playing. A lot of fans of the series don't seem to like this one very much, but then there are others that really do like it. I happen to be in that group. I really enjoy this one. It is kind of a your mileage may vary sort of game, but I do find this one fun. So anyway, let's start it up. I'll leave subtitles on. Vibration, sure, whatever. And the loading flowers. I just passed there. That you, good buddy? Tree top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up some bitch. What you doing on my road? Well, hit on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stop at the coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man, a girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chicken, your cat. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about losing your business when you do your thing, how you don't even remember how or why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Any day now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. Time for it. Catch you later, buddy. And so, meet our protagonist, Travis Grady. The intro there has pretty much already said that he has some sort of issues. It didn't really go too out of its way to hide what they are. If you know what to listen for, you can pretty much exactly make out what was being said there. And mysterious person in the road, your ticket to Silent Hill. If nothing else, you have to give Travis credit for bringing an 18-wheeler to a stop that well. No major jackknifing, and pretty good stopping distance, actually.
So that's not weird and creepy at all. Have you seen a little girl? Huh? Hey, come back! Man, that was a high level pout right there. All right. If we just try and leave, of course the game won't let you. That girl, did I hit her? I need to catch up with her. And so, time to run down the road. That's really all there is to do at this point. And enjoy it while you can. This is the one part of the game where Travis is kind of a track star. Beyond this, don't expect much in the way of endurance. the footage shows up okay. There's not an in-game option for brightness, so I can't really max it out or anything. We're just gonna have to work with what we have. Welcome to Silent Hill. Yes, we've arrived. Oh hey, it's the Wicked Pimp of the West. We still see you, lady. You're not being stealthy. So what's in there? So there's not really too much to do at this point. You can't loot the house for goodies or anything. There's just one quick objective, so we may as well take care of it. Yeah, avoid the fire. Pro tip, fire hurts and it burns. You're coming with me. So now that we're in possession of rich bacony goodness, we just need to get out of the house. There's actually an in-game achievement if you manage this fast enough. But we'll cover those later, that's more of a post-game thing. The magic of safe points gets rid of the fire. Not actually sure if I made it fast enough. You have to be bloody fast. I forget the exact time limit. I think it's like 70 seconds. Somewhere around there. From the moment you pick her up. Safe now. Hey! Someone help her! Where is... everyone? That part just always makes me cringe. Just the thought of all that loose gravel and dirt on those burn wounds. Ah. <sighs> hey, haven't we seen that before?
That girl. Did she make it? They would have taken her to the hospital. Coon Street. I need to see if she's okay. So he's good enough to go ahead and take a map. And we have officially reached Silent Hill proper. May as well take a quick look around where we can. Okay, can't get through that gate. There are at least some items to be had out here. World ends here. Need to go to the hospital. Better check on that girl. One thing I will definitely say for Travis. He's one of the few protagonists that's not afraid to mix it up with the monsters even if he doesn't have a weapon. Yes, he will happily engage in fisticuffs. One thing that cannot be said for Travis, he is no track star, as I said, already out of stamina. But then, he is a trucker. It is a largely sedentary lifestyle. You know, I don't have room to talk, but just saying. I wouldn't be a track star here, either. And we have... A health drink. Delicious. Alright, this way is barred off with police tape. Can't go up the stairs, but this way is open. And we get another health drink. Does it actually say anything about this gate? Fire escape has been sealed off. It's locked. We've played enough Silent Hill games to know that means we're going to be coming back through that door another way. A passage is only no good if the door says it's uh, the lock is jammed. Alcamilla Hospital. Is this the ambulance that brought her in? No, it's the secret ambulance for that ending in Silent Hill 1 that's totally legit, right? <laughs> 